Okay, let's finish this custom step. So I'm gonna go to my Sublime text and the first thing we're gonna do is create the ghost structure. So I'm just gonna um, comment my method here. And of course, I'm just gonna go and copy paste my ghost uh, method that I have from my previous workshop. The one that was never recorded. Let me format this quickly. So here, complaining a bunch of things. Let me check it out. It goes, of course. I don't have the imports in place. I'm just gonna import. Uh, just gonna import all this. So I'm. I'm sure not missing anything. This one, it's complaining saying I'm not using it yet. The attribute I'm using it here. So, and let's see what I'm doing here. So um, basically it's creating the ghost controls. We know already what is this. It's just a duplicated uh, control that it's placed in another uh, uh, rig structure and will be connected to the underlying rig control with local connections. Cool. So we want to unlock here some attributes, the lips uh, up control and lower control. So now, this, uh, I think, yeah, these ones here are only translation rotation, I think. Uh, lips upper control and lower control. Okay. Visibility. Well, I'm not sure which one I'm unlocking here. But anyway, I'm just going to keep it. Um, Sorry, this one here. Um, this is my ghost control. People create uh, lips. Oh yeah, I'm unlocking something on the ghost. Okay, we'll see later. So uh, we have the slider offset. So this will create da, da, da. A neutral pose to, 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 to multi slide, so it's gonna create this offset for the sliding, and then later it's gonna create the, the ghost controls left and right side. Okay, let's try to run this because I'm not in remembering entirely what I was doing, so that's that's great. Now let's see what. I get so I have this save and uh, this is uncomment. And obviously, um, we can go one by one so we can distinguish what is doing each of the little changes I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing is the care K error, oh, of course. Multi slide is not called multi slider anymore, it's called multi slide. So here I just need to cut like this. And just again run. So basically, because I changed the names from the previous uh, plan workshop to this one, <laughs> there's some errors that are showing up now. Okay, so we have this cool. And let me see what I have. So first thing, it's the let me hide this. So I have this ghost here. So you can see now the corner is not showing anymore. So before we have the um, the corner, the square corner that it's created with the leaves, this one here, and it's not showing anymore because it's replaced what I was commenting in the previous video. It's going to be replaced for this one. So you can see now it's moving like this. But when I move like this, indeed, it's going to move. Uh, the other custom step and this one is not moving actually because it's not executing or not triggering the local let me show uh remote proportions here so let's i'm just gonna hide this so we see all the the final one so here you can see this is working as expected so we have this same way that we have before we just discarded the other ones and here I think before, yeah, this is the unlock that I was doing. If you check the um, on the previous one, the rotation was locked. So now I unlock it so we can roll here. By the way, I didn't check the lips thickness. 
rolling that. I think it's yeah, it's a little. I think I will add this to point three. Do you remember in the previous video that we did? It's point three. So the good thing now here is that we can go to our build data lips and we have the configuration here and well it's not like super i mean human readable but you can see here you have a dictionary with the name of the key and the value and if we check here we have this thickness it's 0.3 i'm just gonna put it to one here thickness so now the next time I build, it's gonna be a bit thicker. It doesn't change the skin, it just change anything, but because we re rebuild every single time, we have this option now. Okay, so sorry, this is just a bit of a tangent here, but yeah, for the rest, and this is already plugged here, so I can slide this, but it's not already plugged in the proportions because we didn't connect yet. This is the next custom uh, in part of the custom step, but unless we have this already connected. Okay, cool. So let me check back to my lips. So we have this uh, connected and I'm gonna connect now. So this is the the other one. So for connect, I have the method here and I just keep this for the end on purpose. You will see later in a minute. Okay, so mouth is lighting. We say it's not mouth is lighting, it's mouth is light and the head to gen head geo, okay save delete one more time and build <clears throat> okay cool so the first thing you will note here is that it's slightly changed the positions skinning is the same and sorry this is not the one you should look at it's here this one and just hide this and this is because I changed my value from 0 0.3 uh, 0 0.3 to 0 0.1 mm, I think now it's too much I'm just gonna leave it maybe it was 0 0.03 let's 0 0.06 a little bit like double before but not that much okay and the rest it's it's good but now because i con i did the connection it's gonna be here connected to the multi slide and connected here so now you should see the results here and when i open everything is connected so this was the connection that i did here with the parent control which one is which one so this is Stay there in the app this stays there in there and this stays in the corner so now I can move my corner and this in the corner controls this one here I mean it's still not perfect deformation but we start to see the results everything in place and now we have this lighting thing that is working and let me put this close so you can see better so slide and now I can just yeah like this and maybe just want this smaller and this is not really nice we will fix all this with uh, corrective plane shapes but for the moment we have this in place so you can see now how all these stack local rigs start to pay off and you can see how easy is each of these little rigs and how they compound to have something very complex and very uh, rich on uh, possibilities okay cool 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 so let me build one more time and this time i just want to build to check this uh thickness that i change here so it's uh this value and if it's good for me we will go for the last uh part that is this import control shapes what's this okay okay let's move it course it's not this one I always remember it's the I need to check for the moment here in the proportions and yeah let's let's keep it like that this have kind of a flat thing and let me check the lower one I didn't check it before 
maybe we should adjust a little bit the skin and so on this is something maybe you want to do with a little more time I don't want to make this video super long but yeah of course there is a lot of space for improvement okay so we have this that we like and now I'm going for the last part and the last part is the um, where is this the facial base import control shape so what is happening here is that when we change the control shape of uh, M shifter components you, we can store it inside the guide that's cool but this part these little controls are not generated by the uh, shifter itself it's a rig bits uh, facial rigger that is doing that and these uh, controls are not handled by the by the rig uh, I mean by the shifter so you need to store these control shapes separately and import it but don't worry because we have a method uh, or a, um, yeah some helper functions that you can use to do that so first thing you note is that this is in facial base import control shape okay so I'm just gonna go here to my base and let me check the import so I have the curve I think it's this one so I'm just gonna get the curve there and now import control shapes is here and look at that I have a little snippet I'm gonna grab it so you have it and I'm gonna place it here <coughs> oh no 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 this one sorry this one so that means that I also put the, this thing here. Just let me cut this, and um, I'm just gonna place it here on the import. Okay, cool. Uh, let me organize a little bit this. So this is PyMail. This is from here. It's my uh, stuff, and from here it's MDR. Okay, so we have this now, and let me review the old function or method that we have here so we have the old system for importing path this is not good so I'm just gonna replace that with um, the new one and let me <clears throat> let me take this OS path asset data now I'm just gonna take the data path so I'm just gonna copy here for the moment I'm just gonna hold there to this so I'm not deleting anything I'm just keeping it for the moment so this is not needed for sure so delete this one and the OS path same data path custom step name so so far so good here so we have the custom step name the file name is gonna be curve shape so if we keep this name we don't need to add it later so it's gonna be easier and you can see here that I'm not um, setting the the name I'm just setting the custom step name so I'm just gonna export using this naming okay so inside this custom step name where I want to put it I'm just gonna put it uh, it's already in data custom step name so I'm just gonna add it there I'm just gonna take this uh, formatting here string formatting and just close here just this uh, format by name shoot so don't need this anymore and now the uh, configuration so curve curve from file path and why it's complaining here because path on the file name path Oh yeah, of course. Path is equal to OS path. Okay, just formatting again. And curve, boom. And the configuration, and yeah. This is just replacing the string, just in case you want to replace one name with another. But we keep it like that. Update curve, cool. And now we have for snippet. So this snippet is meant to be run inside Maya. So for the moment, I'm just gonna 
copy from here to here and paste it in my charcoal editor he he wants to open hmm I think yeah it's not there um, okay I'm just gonna oh but it's my my face is in the Python script editor okay let me move this up so you can see it here I'm just gonna uncomment all this Ooh. So basically, I import the curve module, import PyMail core, and I have here my output that this is from the old version of the course. So I'm just gonna go on here, lips, and just gonna replace this path. So here is gonna be, I think it's up to here. Let me just lips and curve shapes that is the one I was saying is the default naming I use this R in front of, of this uh, string just in case you don't know this is it means it's a row stream a string so the uh, backslash it's not like skipping if I remove it you will see oh no it's not coloring or any change here but yeah you, you should use to use uh, this backslash if not you need to do another backslash to escape this okay um so this is selected okay so far so good okay now that i have this i'm just gonna take my shapes here and start adjusting a little bit so i want the circles a little smaller i'm just gonna grab all and scale it like this okay cool so i have all with the shape i want i'm just gonna push all the shapes back maybe closer to the lips okay around there you, you can play uh, with this i mean it's not needed to be exactly the same it's up to you how you do it okay now if i didn't mistake anything i just can select everything my curves are selected and control enter so if i go to my path look at that i have my curve shapes stored there so now when i build again after everything is set up it will recover my custom shapes for this control so that's why we need to use sorry this one here okay so far so good just saving this one um and just double checking the um, indentation is correct okay it looks like about good i'm just gonna save a version oops not here a version of this one so just in case i did something wrong we don't need to redo it again and now just delete this one delete this one and build again okay yes so we have the nice controls again just unhide the proportions and check it out that everything is working okay so we are good to go this is the part that uh i mean this is the <laughs> the lips part that's all for this part and we will continue in the next one see you